Hi everyone, it's Shay, and today we're gonna do our Munji Time review. And this is where we're gonna go to food places and review things. And this is honestly one of the main reasons why I created this channel. It's to be able to eat food and just judge it and just decide who is the best. And hopefully maybe one day, you know, get invited by such places to eat. But that's just way down in the future. But today we're going down to Star Bread Bakery. It's a Filipino bakery and I have had it once before, so it's not gonna be a complete blind review. But it's, it was very good and there was many options that we were missing to try and I think like it's worth to give a good full on review. Okay, we'll see you guys there in the Filipino Star Bread Bakery. Okay, so I have the goods. Um, so already, already talking about the prices, I am shocked at how cheap they are. Yes, back in the day when you go to a bakery, getting an item for a dollar each is reasonable but nowadays if you go to bakeries it's like three dollars or 250 or four dollars for an item depending on where you go to so to be able to get items for a dollar each or like a cinnamon roll for three dollars that to me is crazy cheap so like around 21 items total for 26 dollars and like that's not bad for a bakery again where everything is like homemade baked fresh like that is pretty dang good okay so we're gonna start off with egg rolls and they were 75 cents each again phenomenal deal for a snack a meal whatever you want and i know what you're thinking a bakery with egg rolls believe it or not it's bomb i've had this happen once before in a different bakery and they were some of the best egg rolls i've ever had in my life here's the egg roll i'm i don't remember what's in it it has like peas chicken whatever but i don't really care what's in it i'm just gonna try it but yes here Here's the egg roll. Absolutely crispy, looking good. It has a nice crunch. Um, inside's very nice, like very well seasoned, very good flavors. Um, so it looks like it has corns, peas, and I think cabbage, but it tastes like really good. Like this is like an egg roll you probably find like in someone's house. Like these are good. These get a pass for 75 cents, a good deal. Like let's be real, come on. <laughs> this item i wanted to try it looks very um like something i wouldn't go for normally like i don't eat spinach spinach croissants you know that's not my thing if i'm going to a bakery i'm going for the greasy fat donuts so this i'm i'm going on a limb i'm a picky eater for a dollar like, i think it was three dollars let me check the receipt yeah for three dollars um again not bad price if you this is your lunch meal this is better, probably better than Starbucks. Let's be real here. So, I'm gonna do it for a taste test. Oh. So it looks like it might have cream cheese, like a spinach cream cheese kind of thing. Um, it's cold, so it's not heated up, and I like it. Like the cream cheese make reminds me of like a pastry like you'd get from like McDonald's, like you know that pasty strudel thing of the cream cheese and strawberry. That's what it tastes like. But not the strawberry part but it has like spinach but you can't taste the spinach so again not bad i actually would probably buy this again it's really flaky like if you look at it really nice um there it is yeah this is enjoyable like i would probably eat this again again coming from a picky eater that is pretty good like you can't taste the spinach you don't feel like eating a vegetable i felt it's more of a dessert we're gonna move on to the next item and this one i'm excited for it's a chocolate croissant like look at this look at her this is what i want what i want when i go to france this is the quality this is what you die for this is good like come on this is hard to i had to drive 14 minutes to get to this place i wish it was closer because i'd be eating this every day if i could only other chocolate croissants i've had have been at starbucks i did not like it starbucks pastries taste like they've been there for a while they don't taste good and pete's coffee their chocolate croissant was good when it's heated up it's like a three out of five like i'd eat it again but it's not the best you know this looks like quality and i'm hoping it tastes good so let's start the taste test and it was also three dollars so starbucks get on it like this is your competitor okay let's go Mm-hmm. It doesn't taste stale. It tastes it's soft. It's fluffy. I'm gonna, I took two bites so I can show you the inside. Oh look at that. P 
pure chocolate every corner. Every bite you're getting, there's chocolate in it. That's what you want in a croissant. I'm so sick of going to places and buying a pastry and taking a bite in all the pastries in the dang corner in the back. No, I want a full bite every time. The culture. Look at this. Very good. So far, probably my favorite item so far. So good. That's what I want in a pastry. That's what I've been looking for my whole life. I can only imagine what it tastes like in France. In case you were wondering, the chocolate, it's not dark chocolate. It's like a milk chocolate, but it's really, really rich. It's not like a Hershey milky flavor. It's a little darker, but richer than that. And it tastes really good. I honestly I enjoy that. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next item. Oh, this is a Senorita bread. So this, I'm just gonna take a quick bite, but this is Senorita bread. Um, it was five for $2, so pretty good deal. And I think there's a cream inside of it. I remember having this before, I've had it before. It's okay, I would not go back there for this in particular, I'd go back for something else. This is a good family snack if like, you had to buy something for your family because they're demanding something. You probably go this in bulk so you can buy yourself a $3 chocolate croissant. But yes, let me take that. Yeah, it's good. Really soft. So, slightly sweet. Not overbearing on the sweetness, which is really nice. <sighs> There's a Planet Fitness over there. I might hit it up after this. Because these calories are hidden. Next item. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Okay. So this. I like strudels. I love strudels. So when I, had, when I saw that they had a strawberry cheese, cream cheese strudel, I immediately had to get two. One for me, one for my dad, because this is our thing. Look at her! McDonald's looks like a play toy compared to this. This is a cuisine. This is something you get like at a fancy restaurant for $25. Uh, excuse me. $25. But you could get it here for $30. Three. Three. That's about the same price, give or take, as a McDonald's strudel thingy. And you know, the McDonald's strudel thingy is not as big or, or looking as good looking as this. Yeah, it's got a good smell too. Mm. Yeah. I'm not regretting this. These calories don't count. My rule in life is if it's good and it tastes good, it doesn't count. And especially if you're gonna eat bad, make sure it counts. And this, I swear to you, counts. Mm-hmm. Again. First bite in. I'm already getting the strawberry flavor. Mmm. I mean I found one not bad thing, but some has something to improve on. I give honest reviews. I will never eat something, and if I hate it, I'm not ever going to say it's good. So, this is an honest review. As you can see here, the cream cheese is all mostly on this side, and the strawberry is all over here. I'm not sure if that was like a, something that they do on purpose. Like, I can understand that if it is. But if it's not, like, I would just suggest, like, making half and half. But it, it can't be hard. It's a baked good. Like, when it comes up, you can't see on the inside. It's, again, not a big, big, big deal. Like, it still tastes good. I would buy this again. But, again, like, this is something McDonald's would do. That's the McDonald's stunt. This next item, I really, really, really hope it's good. Like, not just good, but, like, very good. Because it's a cinnamon roll. A cinnamon roll. A cinnamon roll. And there's been more places, more and more places that have cinnamon rolls. And not all of them are good. You know, Cinnabon is very, very good. Cinnabon, I think, is like top tier. But for six dollars for one cinnamon roll, that's not that's not right. That's not me. I made my own cinnamon rolls, and they taste exact same as that. And it was cheaper. <laughs> Sorry, it's all hitting me at once. Okay, this cinnamon roll, I've had one. I've had a cinnamon roll from, I think, Starbucks. Again, dry dry stale like not hard but it was not enjoyable i think i've had i'm not sure if i had one for pizza or something I, I think it was just a chocolate croissant but most of my experiences is from bakeries or places like that cinnamon rolls they're hit or miss this is her so i'm not gonna judge too much on appearance because again it was stuck in the wrapper trapped in like a bag full of food so that's not what i care about you could be the ugliest cinnamon roll in the world. Cinnamon. You can be the ugliest cinnamon roll in the world. Cinnamon. 
cinnamon you can be the ugliest cinnamon roll in the world but if you're good it doesn't matter it's the inside that counts thank you so we're gonna take a bite out of this and hope and hope that's good my cavities are hurting okay the cream cheese is really sweet like I'm sorry, and it looks like, like I need to run. Kind of sweet. The bread's good. Like it's solid. I think this is a good cinnamon roll. Um, not the best. Not something that I would probably hurt someone over. I would not sacrifice my life for the cinnamon roll. But I would go back for the cinnamon roll. Like, if I need, I was craving one, and I happened to be in the area, this would be my cinnamon roll of choice because it was three dollars. Sis, that's half the price of a Cinnabon. Now, if I had a microwave, this probably would be like a 10, but I don't. The cream cheese is really sweet. That's like my only issue right now. But if you have a kid, probably the best thing they can find. I don't think it's like the top best I item from their menu. It's good, but like it's not like the top. Like if you were to go there, it's not going to be the one you're going to die for, you know? Okay, we've reached the finale of the video. When I first took a bite out of these, this is not the blind review anymore. I, I know these from heart. I know my my soul knows these donuts. When I took a bite out of them, I changed for the better. My insights are different. I don't know who I am anymore. This has changed me. Because it is good. I didn't just buy one of each. I bought three of each. Because, sis, one dollar each one. And two, they're just really good. Anyway, let me let me show you guys the reveal. Why am I a game revealed? You need the reveal. Ready? Yes. These are top tier. I think these are some of the best donut holes I've had in my life. In my 19 and a half point six five years of living. This this is worth dying for. Look, I'm gonna pull one out so you can get a close up. This is like the biggest, roundest, deep fried donut you can find around in the Roseville sack area. This is it. This is it. And you're looking at it and you might be thinking, oh, if, you t if she can take a bite out of that, it's gonna be pure air and some filling. No, 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 no. Listen to me right now. The first time I took a bite out of this, it was pure donut from corner to corner, inch to inch. All of it. And when it had a filling, it was pure tasty deliciousness. One of them had cajeta. If you know what cajeta is, that's like a Mexican caramel. And it's way better than regular caramel. That is the caramel that you find like in festivals in Mexico. And they're the best kind. The cajeta. Is this is impressive. I'm going to... I'm gonna say one more thing before I take a bite. This, the girth of it is impressive because if you've ever made donut holes this big, even smaller than that, getting it to be pure donut from corner to corner is very difficult for it to not to have air. And so for them to achieve this, this is their greatest achievement in life. I feel like this deserves a prize of some sort, but that's just me. Let me prove it to you guys. Let's begin the taste test. You guys are probably saying she's a liar. There's no how to donut to donut. Look at that. Donut to donut. Corner to corner. This wasn't as good as the first time I had it. I'm not sure if it's because it had more sugar around the on the outside the first time I had it. It had more cajeta last time. Maybe even more sugar in the whole recipe. But it isn't as good as the first time I've had it. But it's still very delicious. The other ones have sugar all around so i'm not stupid i'm not crazy let me close this i thought i was going crazy i'm like why isn't it as good as the first time i had it i thought i had more sugar it was a type of donut so it looks like the cajeta one just has powdered sugar but this one this is a strawberry filled i love strawberry filled and it's more more fried and more sugar and look at that mm. Mm. I think this is the one that changed my life. <laughs> Let's take a bite. Look at this. Pure donut ratio. Corner to corner. And if there's no donut, it's because there's a jelly filling. And I will say one thing. 
sometimes you eat strawberry filling and it tastes like the strawberry medicine but sweet this does not this tastes like good quality strawberry filling it's perfectly sweet because of the outside coat i was the other donut i feel like did not have the outside coat of sugar and that's why it didn't taste sweet enough to me but this one this is what i this is what i wanted Okay guys, with that last donut, this sums up my munchie time review, reviewing Starbread Bakery. I think that this is one of the best bakeries I've been to. If you live in like the Rockland, Roseville, like Sacramento area, it can be hard to find, you know, pretty decent bakeries. I think a lot of it comes down to culture. Uh, in the United States, there really isn't any like wake up at six in the morning to head to the bakery to get your baguettes to go home and eat with like a hot chocolate. We don't have that here. You go to the grocery store on like a Wednesday afternoon to get a buttload of groceries, bring it home, and then eat it a few days later. And of course, it's very, very processed because of the, the ingredients, the food, the factories. So all of them are worth it. Some of them aren't, of course, like the top tier. Like some of them aren't to die for. Those ones I probably like won't buy again. But the other ones are absolutely phenomenal and 100% worth it. And I think you guys should give it a try. Like you guys saw these donuts. You guys probably have a dollar laying around. Go for some quarters. Go look for, like at that those soda machines that are around the corner and like poke some out. Maybe you can find some underneath the floor. I'm sure you guys were salivating and hella hella. We're hoping to get a bite out of my donuts. And I'm sorry that I can't share them with you through the camera, but you guys should give it a try. Again, these, they have two locations, one in Roseville on Baseline Road, another one in Sacramento. But yeah, support this business, it's good. I give honest reviews. Munchie Time Review gives Starbed Breakery a five out of five. I know that I was just giving this bakery hell good reviews the whole video. And you guys might be thinking, oh my God, that, that's not reliable it just sounds like I'm milking it you know trying to make this video nicer than it sounds that is not true I will give honest reviews if I go to a place and I hate a food I will say it I will say it's dog food okay I don't care it's it's the honest truth we deserve to know the truth and the truth is Starbread bakery is good thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed seeing my review about Starbread bakery and I hope I just <laughs> I hope to see you guys next time on my next Monday time review. Thanks for watching. Shay out.